Hello and welcome to the very first Let's Play on this channel. I'm the Pixel and this is my run through of the original Dead Space on PC. EA recently released this for free on Origin and I thought that would be the perfect opportunity to jump back into it because in my opinion it's a horror classic. So, well, it's been a long time since I've played this so let's jump in and see how well I do. I will warn you however that uh, when playing video games I can get a little bit sweary. So, if you hear any curse words, I apologise, but, yeah, it's probably going to happen. Isaac, it's me. I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. It's strange. Such a little thing. I remember the first time I saw that cutscene pull away into the ship and being really impressed. It's like you knew EA had spent a lot of money on this game and you could see it from right from the beginning. You knew it was going to be scary before it really even started. You know, thinking about it, this whole section reminds me of Event Horizon, probably one of the best horror films of all of the 90s. You just need to go and see it if you haven't seen it already. So, yeah, close this and go watch Event Horizon. You probably won't regret it. Now, where is she? There she is. We have visual contact. So that's Ishimura. Impressive. The USG Ishimura. Biggest planet cracker in her class. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it all dark? I don't see any running lights. Corporal, take us in closer and hail them. And stay clear of that debris field. We're here to fix their ship, not the other way around. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kellyan responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. You're going to need to boost the signal because power's low. Yes, we know. Boost the signal. More. Never heard of a total communications blackout on one of these things. You'd think with a thousand people on board, someone would pick up the phone. Pick up the phone? Of course they're not going to pick up the phone. They're all dead. Well, sort of dead. What is Turned into aliens kind of dead. It's a busted array like we thought. Sounds like they're having problems with their encoder. You get us down there and Isaac and I can fix it. 48 hours max. All right, you're the lady. Take us in. Let's see what needs fixing. Gravity tethers engaged. Automatic docking procedures are go. Hey. What the hell? Sir, the auto dock. What is it? We're off track. We're gonna hit the hole. Hit the blast shield. That guy just said it's damaged. Push them I do think them having to close the blast doors is probably quite a clever idea. Saves them actually having to render crashing into the Ishimura. Well done, EA. Still got a job to do. We're moving out. I love that guy who walks off camera first because he kind of proves that even in the future, mustaches are still cool. So here we go then. Let's move using these very helpful instructions. You didn't lose power to the port 
booster. You lost the port booster. Unbelievable. Cheers for the welcome computer. I'm sure I'll be very happy. And is now the oldest serving with 62 years of continuous service. It holds the record for highest number of planet tracks. Get the pals down everywhere. Isaac, get over here and hack the door fast. Isaac Clark, Master of Opening Doors. And items already. Thank you, Dead Space. I'll have those. Can't have these goddamn boxes, though, because you haven't taught me how to stomp yet. Great. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. She really likes stating the obvious, doesn't she? There's nobody here! Yeah, we can kind of see that. Isaac, log in and see what you can find. Kendra, get that elevator back online. How is dead? I can't! Then we root the damn power! Look, if we all cooperate, we can figure this out a lot sooner. But get that computer display up, Isaac. Isaac Clark, master of pushing buttons. To find your next objective. Huh, that doesn't look good. He's taking a lot of damage. The transistor's offline. Getting around's gonna be difficult. The air seems to be flowing again. That's a start. What the hell was that? Automatic quarantine must have tripped from the filtration system we started. Everybody relax. Relax, he says. Well, relax. All the lights have bloody I'm gone sure. off. I'm not relaxing. What the hell? I don't know. Something He's behind you, mate. Watch out. He's probably... Oh, no. Too late. Maybe he just wanted a hug. I guess we'll never know. One step ahead of you, love. I'm already running. And I'm going to keep running. Running, 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 running. Ah! Run. Aha! Lift! Fuck you, goodbye. This is a one-person lift, Necromorph. Bugger off. Please, go away. Go away. He must really want that hug. Either that or he's after my face or something. Andy Hin here, cut off their limbs. I think I'll start doing that. Cheers. Isaac Clark, master of missing boxes. There we go, that's better. Let's try and grab these items. Bloody hell, die, quickly. And onwards down this creepy looking corridor. Why do I have a feeling something's going to be jumping out at me any second now? Yep, they're giving me health packs. Something is going to jump out at me in a second. I just know it. This is Pentium. Everybody listen up. They use the vent. That's how they're getting around the ship. Stay away from the aisle. Get back. Get back. 
All right, maybe not. I don't think they're going to jump me while there's some story going on. Or maybe they would. Necromorphs are douchebags. <laughs> we ran into more of them on the way over here. Are you okay? More what? What the hell are those things? Is that the crew? Keep your voice down. Whatever they are, they're not friendly. And half the doors on this ship are locked because of the crime scene. Now, we have to get to the bridge. But first, we got to repair the tram system. You're crazy, Hammond. You're going to get us all killed. If you listen to me, I will get you out of here alive. Now, what's wrong with the tram? The data board is fried. But there should be a spare in the maintenance bay. There's also a broken tram blocking the tunnel that needs to be repaired. Damn it! Everything is on the other side of this quarantine. We can't reach it from here. No, we can't. But you can. Isaac, if I can get to the bridge, I should be able to access the personnel files. You fix the tram, and I'll help you find Nicole. Right, after that lovely bit of story, I think I might just leave it here. Thank you for watching this terribly awkward first episode. I can't promise these episodes are going to get too much better, but I hope you join me for them anyway, and I'll see you next time.